Hi, it's Logan from Sleepopolis.com, and today I'm going to take a look at the Love and Sleep from Nest Bedding. Nest Bedding offers a variety of mattresses. Today we're going to take a look at their value mattress. It's the Love and Sleep. I'm excited to get a look. First, we're going to take a look at the construction of the mattress. We're going to start with the cover. The cover is very thin, should make it very breathable. It's stretchy, goes right back to shape there. Uh, it's made with a phase change material to help with temperature regulation. Uh, combined with the thinness, it should help uh, keep you from sleeping too hot. Now let's take a look at the layers of the mattress. Now to take a look at the layers of the mattress. The cover doesn't have a zipper, so I can't show you what's inside the mattress, but I will describe what's going on. Basically, we have the top layer here of uh, comfort foam. Now this foam has kind of the attributes of both memory foam for pressure relief and a latex foam to provide some great bounce to it. Below that, we have one inch of poly foam. It starts to give a little bit more support for the sleeper, a transition from kind of the soft comfort layer up top to the base below. It also has a convoluted nature to it so that it has some dips here, provides some airflow through the mattress to help with temperature regulation. And at the bottom, we have a high density poly foam for support really forms the base of the mattress and the foundation of the mattress, gives some shape and durability. I should note that this is the medium firmness of uh, the mattress. It comes in two different styles. It comes in a medium and a firm uh, version. Uh, the firm version of the mattress has a two inch layer of comfort foam at the top, followed immediately by an eight inch support poly foam layer. So basically you don't have as much comfort material on top as the firm and you don't have the transition layer. Uh, to give you a little added support. Today for the review though, we're going to take a look at the medium mattress. Now that we've seen what makes up a Love and Sleep mattress, it's time to get an idea for the firmness and feel of it. And as I press into the mattress, it's pretty soft, but it responds really quickly. Now that top layer of foam is meant to have a combination of kind of the memory foam, pressure relief and softness, and also the response time of a latex foam, so you don't feel stuck in the mattress. So now I'm going to lay down on it. So starting on my back, you can feel that pressure relief, getting a good bounce out of the mattress here, especially when I roll around and change positions. It does have some solid contouring to my body, but I don't feel like I'm sinking into the mattress. That response on top does a good job of making me feel like I'm on top of the mattress. Change positions pretty easily. When I roll onto my side, the side sleepers can often have issues with pressure points. We're going to take a look at pressure later in the review. Um, I don't feel much pressure in my shoulders or hips, which is really good for side sleepers. Um, so yeah, it seems to be performing pretty well. Rolling onto my stomach. It's doing a good job of keeping my hips from sinking into the mattress. Uh, that helps keep my spine aligned, which is really good for stomach sleepers. Uh, I don't feel much pressure on my chest, so I can breathe pretty easily. Um, you know, for me, it's kind of a medium firmness, which is what they intended. Uh, but everyone feels firmness a little bit differently because of different sizes and weight distributions. Uh, for reference, I'm about 5'10", 190 pounds. But if you'd like a wide array of opinions on the firmness of this mattress or some more detail on it, check out our written review at the link below. Pressure relief can be an incredibly important aspect of a mattress. Instead of just describing the feel to you, we wanted to give you an idea of where pressure points may arise when lying on the love and sleep. To do this, we laid out a pressure map. I'm going to lay down on it in a few different positions. You're going to see the results next to me, ranging from blue for low pressure to red for high pressure. Starting on my back, Rolling out of my side. Finally on my stomach. If you plan on sharing your bed with a partner, the ability of a mattress to isolate motion can be incredibly important. 
In order to test this, we've set up a seismometer on one side of the bed where someone might be laying, and on the other side of the bed, we're going to drop this 10 pound steel ball from heights of 4, 8, and 12 inches to simulate someone tossing and turning in the middle of the night or getting into and out of bed. We're going to check to see how much disturbance is felt on the other side of the mattress. First, the drop from 4 inches. Now from 8 inches. Finally, from 12 inches. A lot of people buying a mattress want to know if they're going to feel like they're sitting on top of or sinking into the mattress. To test this, we've set up our sinkage test in which we use four different balls of varying sizes, weights, and densities to simulate different body parts and see how far into the mattress they sink. First up, we have our lightest ball we use. It's six pounds, filled with sand, and we found that it sinks into the mattress one inch. Next up, we have our eight pound medicine ball, again simulating a lighter body part. We found that it sinks into the love and sleep a little more than an inch. Next up in the sinkage test, we have our 10 pound steel ball. It's the densest ball we use during this test. We found that it sinks into the mattress two inches. And finally, we have the 50 pound medicine ball. It's the heaviest ball we use during the sinkage test. Simulates kind of the center of your body, the heavier parts of your body. We found that it sinks into the mattress about four inches. If you're going to be sharing your bed with a partner, you need to use the entire surface area of the mattress. You're going to want to know how the edge support of the mattress holds up. You don't want to feel like you're going to roll out of bed when you get near the side of the bed. Now, when I'm near the side of the Love and Sleep mattress, I'm going to lay down. I feel good support. I feel pretty secure in my position here near the edge of the mattress. Even if I'm changing positions, Pulling onto my side, still feel pretty good support here. I'm not going to slide out or anything like that. So I'm hanging off the mattress here. See a little compression, but again, I feel like I'm going to stay in bed no problem. As I sit up on the side of the mattress, all of my weight's concentrated over one area, so I push through those comfort layers a little bit. We see a bit of compression here. It's pretty common among foam mattresses. Um, it might not be the most important position for you when deciding on a mattress, but it's just something to think about. Now just to give you some basic information on the love and sleep from nest bedding. There's a 100 night trial period, a lifetime warranty, and shipping is free to the continental United States and it will arrive in a box. Now who I think this mattress would be a good fit for is if you're looking for a medium firmness level. Maybe your sleep needs aren't too specific or you'd like to sleep in multiple positions. This mattress provides a good general feel for you. Also, if you're looking for a mattress with a little bit of bounce, that quick response to the top layer allows you to adjust your sleeping position pretty easily and you won't feel stuck in the mattress. And finally, if you're looking for a good deal, the quality of materials used and the performance of the mattress make the love and sleep a great value at the price. That's it for the review. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions regarding the mattress or the review, please leave a note below. And don't forget to check out our written review at sleepopolis.com. Have a great day.